Hey, what's happening guys? This is Shukesh once again and welcome to the second episode of the awesome tips and tricks video series on the all new OnePlus 5T. I have been using this phone for a couple of days now and my experience with this phone is outstanding. The hardware is top class and the software part, the hidden features and gestures, the tricks and tips are just mind blowing. In the disguise of stock Android UI, Oxygen OxygenOS features some amazing software features which which makes it a true smartphone. I am really glad that you guys liked the part 1 of this video series. In this second episode, I have a lot more tips and tricks to show off, so without any further ado, let's get to it. Now there is a floating icon as you can see on the home screen. It's one of my favorite features on this smartphone. It's for select to speak feature on your OnePlus 5T. If you tap on any text, the phone will read out the whole paragraph which is really fun. Let me show you a demo. Now to listen to this text, let's click on select to speak and After tap on the paragraph. Samsung has just revealed their fourth generation of Galaxy Note at an eventful unpacked episode 2 press conference. To stop, just click on anywhere on the screen. So whether you are reading a long Samsung blog or VR, an ebook, you can make your OnePlus 5T to read out the text. Now there is another way to do that, if you want to select more than one paragraph, you can just drag and select the area, you can select the whole Samsung page of course, after reading out the first the paragraph, the selection will move to the so next you. paragraph. Now it's really fun when this reads out your social media feeds or your messages from your friends like your whatsapp messages, I do that sometimes, I don't know why it feels nice. Now there is a quick tip for you. Since this floating icon is taking up some space on your home screen, the best place to place it is in between the second and third row of your home screen applications then it will not interfere with your most of the applications. For example, the keyboard, your home screen applications, uh, notification toggles, even your camera. As you can see the icon slightly moved as well, so place the icon here it won't bother you. Now let me show you how to enable select to speak. Just scroll down to advanced features, then accessibility settings at the top, then you will find select to speak. Enable this and the icon will pop up. Now did you know that there is an inbuilt feature on your OnePlus 5T which can record all of your calls, no need to rely on third party applications, there is no limit, no restriction and it's also automatic. Just enable calls auto recording from your dialer settings. There is an option to disable auto recording notification that is, there will be no trace, no notification that the call is being recorded, it will be like incognito and you can listen to the recordings only by visiting your music applications. You can record all calls, your favorite contacts or you can just specify any contact or all unknown numbers that are not in your contacts menu. Let me show you how to find the recordings, just open any music player on your phone, then go to album view, you will find an album called phone record. Now your OnePlus 5T supports dual sim cards and every time you try to make a call, you are given two options, that is your two sim cards to choose from. Now there is an option on your OnePlus 5T called smart callback, it's under sim card and network settings. Now when you enable this feature, calls will be made using the same sim card based on the previous call history. So if you select sim card 1 to make a call to your wife, next time you call your wife, OnePlus 5T will choose sim card 1 automatically. Now when you get a call, you can mute the ringtone just by flipping the phone. So if you are in a meeting or if you are in school, this trick might be very handy. Under gesture settings, you will find this option flip to mute. Now the user interface on your OnePlus 5T looks and feels like stock Android but you can customize it in many ways. For example, you can change the icon design, just go to your home screen settings and icon pack. You have OnePlus stock icon pack and you can make it round or square. Now I have downloaded two more from the Play Store. It's called Pin and this one is called Viral. To download your desired icon pack, just click on more and there you go, lots of free icon designs for your OnePlus 5T. Now if you don't like any particular icon design, you can just tap and hold and drag and drop to edit option. Here you can change the label and 
also the icon design from here. Just click and select your desired icon pack. No need to change all the icons on your OnePlus 5T. Now as you know if you tap and hold on compatible applications you get a list of shortcuts to your frequent actions. You won't even have to open the application directly go to your desired option. So you can make a call or send a message to your frequent contacts, open the portrait or selfie mode on your camera. It's a really nice feature, it saves time and effort. Some third party applications like Twitter also supports this feature. Now the most interesting trick is if you tap and hold on any of these shortcuts, you can put or pin the shortcut to your home panel. So this is how you can make your experience with your OnePlus 5T smarter and easier. Now you might have noticed that I have two Facebook applications or shortcuts on my home panel. These are parallel applications that is I can maintain two Facebook profiles on my OnePlus 5T. I indeed have two Facebook profiles one is personal and one is for gadgets portal so this feature is so useful for me. Other third party applications also support this parallel apps feature especially social apps like Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and of course WhatsApp. Since you have two SIM cards, you can maintain two WhatsApp profiles. Go to your settings menu, then apps. Here you will find the parallel apps option. Now you can enable the applications you want to duplicate just by clicking on the supported applications. Guys, I have shown you how to change the icons, but you can also change the theme on your OnePlus 5T. Just go to your display settings, then uh, you will find the theme option under systems. You can switch to light or dark theme. In light theme, of course, everything is bright, mainly white, including your dialer, your messaging applications, your contacts menu, notification center. The light theme is actually very close to the default one. Now I'm sure you will love the dark theme, it makes everything black and looks really very beautiful since the color of the phone is black and since it's super AMOLED it's pitch black and also very battery saving. Everything is now dark themed which looks very classy and I really personally prefer this theme, I'm sure you will love it as well. Now you can also change the accent color, right now it's purple, it's for the headings, the icons, your toggle switches etc. Now under the same display settings you'll find an option to calibrate your display. You can change from default to sRGB or DCI-P3 which looks really beautiful. There is adaptive mode that is the color theme will depend on the images that is being displayed on the screen. You can even manually control cold and warm color tone as per your choice. Now I want to quickly mention reading mode and night mode you have on your OnePlus 5T. Night mode is time specific and reading mode is app specific. As you know this make your display very warm which is suitable for your eyes especially at night for a good night sleep. You can customize the timing and of course set the strength. On the other hand you can enable reading mode for specific applications especially your ebooks or your social media like Twitter, Facebook or blogs so that long time reading won't hurt your eyes. Now on your OnePlus 5T there is a very very handy mode it's called gaming do not disturb and it's not only for games you can assign any application you want in gaming DND all of your incoming calls will be routed to the speaker so that you can continue gaming. All of your notifications can be blocked as well, calls and alarms are exempted. To set up this feature go to your advanced settings option. You can manually turn on gaming DND from the toggles or you can select your specific applications you want gaming DND to turn on automatically. As I mentioned before all of your applications are supported. In addition to that there is also data saver. This prevents some applications from sending or receiving data in the background to help reduce the data usage. It means when you are using an application currently it can use data but once you close it background data restriction applies. On your OnePlus 5T you can even set up a virtual private network. Just click on the plus icon and create your VPN profile. 
by default you don't get these toggle switches if you really don't know how to add them just click on this edit icon and drag and drop your desired switches now if you wish you can schedule power on off just go to your settings menu then advanced scheduled power on off so if you prefer to keep your phone off when you go to sleep just set time for power on and switch off the device sleep peacefully without any disturbance you can schedule power off as well oneplus 5t supports quick pay and you can enable quick pay just by pressing and holding the fingerprint scanner when the device is locked the device will unlock first and then the supported applications will open several applications including paytm are supported by quick pay to enable go to your settings menu then look for security and lock screen scroll down for quick pay enable this feature and choose your default application for payments the status bar on your oneplus 5t is also customizable you can change the battery style the time format and also you can show or hide the data network speed just go to your settings menu then look for uh, status bar and here you will find all these options Guys, this is the end of episode number 2. Episode 3 is on the way so make sure you are subscribed. I will drop the link in the description below once it's live and if you missed episode number 1, do watch that part as well. OnePlus 5T is an amazing smartphone. It excels both in hardware and software. The user interface is blazing fast and the phone looks and feels very premium as well. For the price, it's a steal I will say. In many ways, it's a flagship killer as well. That's all in this video guys. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Shukesh signing off. Do remember to hit the like button, comment and of course subscribe to this channel.